So as planned, quarterback change for Orlando. DeAndre Francois started at Florida State, where he was the ACC Rookie of the Year in 16, and ended his college career setting a school record with 26 passing touchdowns for Hampton. And he's got a lot of ability. You just watch the ball come out of his hand, throws a really tight spiral, really excelled early in his career at Florida State, hit some adversity there. Obviously, in the back half of his career, finished at Hampton. But just as far as sheer natural ability, the ball jumps and he has great placement. This should be a great opportunity for him to showcase his ability because he's got a ton of it here in the XFL. 2016 led the nation's freshman in passing yards. We'll see if the offense looks different with Francois. And he wants to throw on his first chance. Escapes the pocket. He is dangerous with his legs and a stutter step before being taken down after a pickup of four. Here we go, Sally, Sally. Check. Francois changing the running back protection. <laughs> Nearly got taken down. Now he escapes. And try to cut it back inside. Turns nothing into a four-yard gain. That's what Francois could give you. He can give you a little bit there, right? I mean, he's got to be more accurate throwing the football either way. But, I mean, he looks as though he's going to be dropped at least two, maybe three times. And somehow he turns what would have been a negative play into a positive gain to set up second and manageable. Larry, Larry. Pressure coming. Francois dumps it. And it is... Touchdown for Latimer. After all... snap of the possession. There's a great effort there from Latimer and a good job too by Francois retreating, buying a little bit of time before he throws it up and over the top. Green 19! Where is that? Four-man rush. Francois shovels it out at the last second. And Jermaine Martin ends up with no gain. They saved the sack of the game. Can Francois be the spark? Quarterback keeper. He does get to the corner. And on first down, gets a good pickup. And going to cover one defensively for Houston. Third and nine for Orlando. Pressure backside. What a throw by Francois. Can I go back in? Cody Latimer, the tight end, reels it in. Picks up 19. He's made his hay across the middle of the field on the seam route. This is a fantastic throw. The yard line. Could be quarterback draw right here. Francois looking to throw. Pressured in his face. That is complete. Charleston Rambo held on. The one point conversion is good. Trick plays we've seen. Francois to Eli Rogers. Rogers trying to get the corner to the stiff arm. It's going to be close. Games and Arlington loses the final two. That's the only path there. And they would be there via the tiebreaker. How is that complete to Charleston Rambo? DeAndre Francois was flirting with an interception, a dangerous one of that. Nobody got on one too many dates. You flirt that much, man. That ball was tipped by Devin Darrington. He was the intended receiver. And then the ball falls into the lap of Rambo. Could have. Trying to get the Guardians in the end zone. Pressure. Scott hits him, but complete the score. Andrew, Jamil, just like they do it at D2 Stonehill. Francois with time, sideline, and cut by Charleston Rambo out of Miami. So we've had a known, a Gator calling the plays, and a reception to a Kane. And you, sure, you heard Shane Matthews say to 81, which is Jordan Thomas, come back. Well, also on the other side, deep comebacks on the outside. Get past the sticks, get past the first down line marker, and then give your quarterback an, a, a target to hit. And so we, we also hear the audio from head coach or hey, even coordinator to their receivers. Daddy. Let's see it. That's been one of the themes this week for Terrell Buckley. He just wants to see what Francois has. Check down, Devin Darrington. Darrington slips one to the 50 for the former Harvard Crimson and Virginia Cavalier. Francois over the middle and cut. 
brought in by Dan Williams. This team may potentially be detrimental. France Wall. Charleston Rambo for the second time. For the number one third down offense in the XFL. Francois, pressure in his face. Andrew Jamil, wide open. His second touchdown in as many weeks. Couldn't do the on-field workouts. That hampered him from getting his shot in the NFL. This is his shot now. Francois has wheels. The pursuit, however, by Taniella Tupo. Andre Francois back at quarterback. He got his first career start here today. Bullet pass, Charleston Rambo, excuse me, KD Cannon with the grab. Showed out football for St. Louis the rest of the way. That was a message from Beck at the half. Francois on skates, get the first down. Breaking ankles is deep this game. That would be critical if it comes down to a fifth tiebreaker, which is the overall rank in scoring offense and defense among all teams in the XFL. Scarlett Knights and sacks in three straight years. He's got two here today. Third down pitch and catch to Dan Williams. Third and eight. France Wall, that's gonna be short. It's a foul bringing it back. Fourth and two. Francois will stay up. First down yardage and tripped up by the turf monster. But DeAndre Francois gets the job done with a 10-yard pickup on fourth. That's the difference when you have a quarterback who can use his legs. As soon as it's not there, immediately he gets his head down and starts to go. And if it weren't for that turf monster, which you know you can get up and keep going unless you're touched, 